Beginning Art, Lesson 1, Pencil Shading. You need a pencil, an eraser, plain white paper, a ruler, or a straight edge. Now I'm using a regular number two pencil that has an eraser on it. Uh, the eraser might not be needed at all. And since I didn't have a ruler handy, I have these square paint chips that make a pretty good straight edge. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to create a grid with five or six squares in it with your pencil and your straight edge. After you have completed making this, you're going to draw with shading <coughs> with your pencil going from completely pale white, somewhat gray, darker, 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 and finally darkest. Okay, now when you're fi finished doing this, you can actually do some shading or smudging within this. And if you have a nice flat surface, you can do shading with your finger, smudge it, and get a different degree of shading. I'll leave half of it unsmudged. I'm starting with the lightest one because obviously I'm getting some on my finger. Go to the second one and smudge just one area and see how you can get it nice and smooth looking so you don't really have the pencil marks. I'll do that to the next one, which is the third darkness. You see it, it, it just a little bit of smudging and quite a dirty finger <laughs> gives you a completely different effect. And this is the first step in learning to work with a pencil and getting <coughs> light to dark shading. And this is all just an ordinary number two pencil. There are much nicer pencils that come in darker and darker and darker shadings because when the lead is softer, or the graphite is softer, it leaves a much darker result. Okay, so your homework for this week is to do the same exact thing. And then I want you to take a photograph of it and give me a reply at the Facebook page, which I will be linking below, including your photograph of your homework. And then I want you to look around your home and find one single object that you're going to draw and that you're going to put shading in it. So you want one light source, which means light from one side only, and you'll be able to get the lightest and the darkest tones in your object that way. So until next time, I hope you enjoy the first project. Uh, this can really teach you a skill that you can grow with in your in your studies on learning to be an artist. All right, thank you very much, and join me again.